Good morning chaps, welcome along to the vlog on a fine Thursday morning. Come on boy. So we are going to continue work on the mooring today or the jetty. I wanted to point out a couple of things that uh, have been mentioned in the comments um, about possibly causing a leak in the canal by hammering poles through the tim uh, through the mud at the base of the canal. Well, we're not actually in the water with uh, the majority of these poles, so that shouldn't be an issue. And anything that's close to the water line or is on a bit of a slope, once we've got the jetty in place, I'm going to actually lift those uh, poles out one at a time because there'll be several more to support the whole deck. And I'm going to weld a spreader plate on the bottom and then put them back into place so I can kind of show you exactly what I mean. So if you look down there, you'll see that whilst we're on the water's edge, we're not actually in the water on pretty much any of these uh, support poles. So that then means that uh, well, we don't have to worry about making a, a puncture in the canal clay lining and the Canal and Rivers Trust or the Chesterfield Canal Trust um, won't be too concerned about what we're doing there because we're not actually encroaching onto the canal itself. Uh, we're basically just tidying the bank up. That's the plan. Now whilst you could pretty much moor a, uh, a boat up to the side of it, it'd have to have a pretty shallow uh, keel is the right word I think. So uh, yeah, it's more for show than uh, practical purposes folks. Uh, we can't really moor about there anyway because of the vicinity of the bridge and that means that anybody coming through the bridge would basically run straight into any boat that we had there. So uh, that's the plan anyway, so... Wow, I really am cracking on and... Uh... Oh shit. So, we're almost at half past one in the afternoon. It's been raining so it's been difficult for me to get the camera out as you can hear the wind's pretty bad so I'm just gonna set these clips down and uh, we'll give you a quick once over of where we've got the mooring so far I've put some diagonal braces in you'll be pleased to know to prevent any side to side movement and there they are, just under there, as you can see. So this runs across to there, which is braced into there with two uprights there. We'll put a diagonal in there as well at some point. And it runs across this far. We are yet to straighten that pole up. And some of these poles I've had to put in on a rake to hit uh, the bank instead of going into the actual water. And down there we've installed a new support section so that little bit there goes behind the wall and then it's screwed into that upright post so that can't move at all I've got the triangles to put in along here and then also I'm just about to pop a safety rail on there so still lots to do I'm gonna take the camera back into the building while I do this because it's constantly raining even if it's just drizzle don't want to get the cannon wet and uh, I'm afraid I'm just gonna to have to keep giving you periodic updates throughout the day I'm not really gonna be able to set the camera up in this and uh, take a time-lapse or anything like that so once we're done we'll come back with the camera and uh, and show you the progress right time for another update this time we're gonna go across the bridge and down the side of the canal and take a look from the other side. I'm starting to feel like it's become a bit of a monstrosity now, but uh, <laughs> I reserve judgment. Let's go and have a look.
doesn't look too bad. Well, you know what? It doesn't look bad at all from this side, does it? I think I'll actually get away with that. It looks a lot neater than I anticipated. And you can see we're not actually in the water with any of those pegs. Oh yeah. Much better. Yeah, that's fine. Just need to trim those tops and we're done. Lovely. Well, that's a freaking relief. It does look all right from this side, so let's jump back across. Just need to trim the tops of those support, those uh, uprights, so that they're all flush. I might wait a bit though, just in case any of them subside a little. And then once that's done, uh, I think I'll paint all the scaffolding black or something and make it look nice. It certainly looks as good as that. Just about to wrap it up. We're 95% complete, but I've run out of clips, unfortunately. Well, I'm covering my ass, matey. <laughs> so this is what we're on about. Just to make sure that uh, nobody falls in and directly blames it on me. Well, it's their own problem. So we put some kickboards up, temporary, and double handrail. Hey, what do you think? I'm pretty pleased with it, if I'm honest. So we've got just a few more clips to put down on this end to tie that section in, because it's obviously open. And I've got board clips to fetch. And then we have to bring it up for a step along here, all the way across, so there's still more to do, but that's as far as we're gonna get today until I can order some more of them clips there. Frankly, because I drove all the way to Peterborough, I should have actually bought some more, but it just didn't occur to me that we'd reuse more than 50 clips. But I have gone like overkill with the bracing and the support. So I'm just gonna go into the unit, quickly spruce myself up, and Gemma's uh, taken her mum across to uh, home. <laughs> she's, been, she's come on the bus today. So Gemma's gone to take her, after you mate, take her across. Uh, so I've got a free pass for the rest of the afternoon. So, wash my hands, sign off on the vlog, go and get a pint, sit in the pub for an hour, or three. Sounds good to me. We'll see you tomorrow. I like to love you every day. I'd like to love you, love you, love you. I'd like to love you, love you, love you. If I may, if I may.